So from here there are three things that happen. Your right palm relaxes and moves through. I'll turn this way just to show you how it moves. It moves through underneath the left palm, which turns down to meet it. And now the both palms are again on top of each other, the exact opposite of what we've just done. That's the first thing that happens. You inhale on this movement as well. You also pick up your right heel and turn slightly to the right to the northeast. Now as you turn to the northeast, your head only turns to the northeast, but your eyes look out the corner of your eyes to the east. Inhale. Now you pick your right foot up. This is also, so again, important so as to get a correct bow stance. You pick your right foot right up off the ground and place your heel exactly where it was. Stretch it out. Again, pick it up. Stretch it out. Open your toes and place your heel exactly where it was. Now as you roll forward, it's a little bit like the move we just did, except the left hand is going to stay where it is and flex. You roll forward onto your right leg. Your right hand comes up in front of you like you're holding a ball and the left hand flexes lightly in, in, in back of it. Now you notice I can't get my waist around to the front, my hips rather, because my back foot's still out there. So the very last thing that happens is as you exhale, see how the left toes have dragged around. Never ever do this, ever. The left toes drag around and point out to the northeast. See how the hands are held? like you're holding a little ball in front. If you put your hands together, they do that, like a little ball. And you're facing to the, to the east now. Again, the front foot is turned in just slightly about one inch. So I'll just go over that from the Pung movement. Breathe in. And breathe out as your back toe comes around 45 degrees. <laughs>